Today I'm going to be comparing all the brands of Sankos there are out there. We got I got four different brands here. I got the Bass Pro Shop Sticko pack of 50. I got this the Straight King Shime Stick. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Shime Stick. And then the Yum Dinger. And then the original one, the Gary Automoto. First up, we got the Bass Pro Shops brand Sticko. It's it. I got it in a nine inch, but you can get it in smaller sizes. And then the price is on the top of the screen. Next, we got the Strike King Shine Stick. I got them all in the same colors, so when we go and compare them. Next, we got the Gary Automoto Sanko. Then we got the Yum Dinger. One thing I noticed about these is they're bent. Almost all of them in the package are just bent. Again, all of the prices were on the top of the screen and links will be in the description to go buy them. Now let's go see how they perform on the water. First I'm going to start off with the, the Yum Dinger. Let's see how this one works. I'm going to wacky rig it on a wacky rig hook. I think it's a 1 8 ounce. Let's see if we can catch anything. Got him on the yum dinger. That was pretty fast. Got him wacky rig right in the side of the mouth. Okay, my first one is on the young dimmer. The the young the the yum dinger. Okay, let's get the release on this thing. Turn that the audio is pretty bad. It's in my waterproof case because it's raining outside. Here we go. There he goes. Okay, I just got one on the Young Dinger. Now I'm gonna try the Strike King Shime Stick, and I'm gonna see if there's a difference in action or casting distance. Okay, I'm gonna show you a closer look at what I'm using. I got a green pumpkin. I got them all on green pumpkin, green pumpkin, because I'm comparing all of them, and I want everything to be as close as possible. Same size, same everything. And then I got it on a, a one eighth ounce. Shake, not shake your head, uh, wacky rig hook. And I'm just pitching it out there and I'm working it like a wacky rig. Oh, I got one. Got one. There we go. This is on the shine stick. Oh, this is a nice one. We got a nice one. Nice golf course bass. Nice golf course bass. On the shine stick, this one took a little bit longer, but he's bigger than the one I caught on the Yum Dinger. So, okay, here we go. Oh, geez, I just stepped on big. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> Next, I'm trying the Bass Pro Shops brand Sanko. This one, I said this one was a nine inch. This is actually a um, five eighth inch. <laughs> My bad. But I'm gonna see if I can catch any on this. Oh, I got one. Got one. Oh, I think, no, he's, he's still on, he's still on. He was running in with it. First cast. First cast. On the Bass Pro Shops brand Sanko. Oh, get up. Get up here. Oh. He's smaller. Nice one on the Sanko. It looks like he's been caught before. But we're going to get him back. Go. Okay, next up we got the Gary Automoto Sanko. The most expensive one out of all of them. And this, I'm pretty sure this is the original one. I'm gonna see if there's anything different from all the other ones. Why is, why is this one so more expensive? I'm about to find out. I had one my first cast. Oh, I got one again. I got him this time. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Oh, I think I figured out these bass. Oh wait. 
Oh. Oh my god! This is a bluegill! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look at this bluegill! Oh my god. He choked it too. Oh my gosh. I've never caught a bluegill on a soft plastic. Oh my gosh. This is... He's got one too. This pond is unreal. Oh my gosh. He's got a big one. I'm going to go over there. Here's my fish. Huge bluegill. And here's Jack's fish. Right here. Wacky rig Senko too? Yeah. It's got a makeshift O-ring on there. What is it? Here, tell us about it. Rambo. I just double knotted it. And it's like basically perfect. a rubber band. Yeah. A rubber band double knotted around his Senko. I guess it works. Yeah. Can't get it it's <laughs> Here, we'll get there in the sun, guys. Big bluegill, big bass. Here we go. Both off. Oh my gosh, big bass. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, I thought I was snagged. That was a fish. I thought I was snagged. It was a fish. This is a nice one. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought I was snagged. I was trying to pull it over the log because I thought I saw a log in the water. Oh my gosh. Oh my, this. It's like every cast. It's just like the perfect conditions. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we go with the release. Here we go. No, watch. I'm oh, I got one. They're all small, but this so this is still so much fun. Oh yes, I still get my Seiko too. They're all like this size, but still, this is so much fun. Like I don't even know what number of fish I'm on today, but oh my gosh, this is just so much fun. Hey, come here. He hasn't caught a fish all day today. Here we go. Fish. You know to grab him? Throw him back. <laughs> hey Jack, you're getting the next fish on this one. Oh, I got one, Jack. Come here. Look that rod. You still on? Is that a catfish? Go. Got it. Please live. Oh yeah, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> I need one of you to take a picture. Got him. <laughs> what? Oh. oh. Jeez, he's fighting like a small mouth. Nope. Right in the side of the mouth. Okay, here we go. Already. Oh my gosh. Already. Just like I, he almost hit it before, like when it jumped out of the water. Oh. That was one of the fastest bass I think I've ever caught. Was this one right here? Another one right away. You see that here, Jack? Hold that. Keep that one out. Oh, this is a nicer one. Look at 
This is a bit. I might have this one valve hook. Oh my gosh, this is a nice one, guys. Wait till you see this fish. This is bigger than my last one. Whoa! No, that's actually about the same size as my last one. This is still a nice fish. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Another one. See how many of them there were? Look at them all, they're still there. Dude, I think I have one. Dude, I have one. Wow. Oh no, he swallowed it. They're bigger in here. Another fish on a Senko. cast in this little cove. I got my cycle back again. I'm on a roll. Recording? Yep. <laughs> Thankfully, how'd you even get that down your throat? Okay, another little bass. That's a big jump. Oh, jumped up with the two. First, well, we just switched ponds. I only caught a few. Top pond. This pond is a lot better than that other one. Oh no. Oh. Here we go. Wow, it really started to rain now. smallest one I've caught all day. No, I know this is the smallest one I caught all day. Nice little guy. Oh. Finally! It took three tries to get a fish out of that drain. Oh my goodness. I saw one that was like two times bigger than this too. I gotta get him back because I gotta go soon. Man, the bite really slowed down there for a little bit. Ugh. We're gonna try in this water current again. Oh, I saw me get. Oh, I spit it. Oh, well, I gotta go anyways. I just got done editing this video and I realized I got a little off topic because I started, like, crushing the bass on the Sankos. But, overall, I think my favorite Sanko... Well, here, I'll just do this. The farthest casting distance I could get was the Gary Automoto. But, action as action goes, it... They were, like, all the same. Like, there was no difference. Except the Yum Dingers. They were just, like... They came in a, I don't know if I got a bad package, but I looked and all of them kind of looked bent like that, but I don't know, it just might be that one, but the Bass Pro Shops and the Strike King, they all look the same. So I guess it doesn't matter if you buy a $6 one, a $2 one, or a $27 bag of 50 It's all the same. <laughs>